everyone and welcome to a special one-off video where we are taking a look at a mystery, specifically FPI mystery disappearance at the, the Worth Circus, which I believe is one of two scenarios made under this FPI mystery label and published or created by Lucky Egg who are based in London. Before we go any further, I will just state this is not sponsored content, no money exchanged hands or anything like that, however this was sent to me for free by Lucky Egg directly for the purposes of just trying out this and I've never tried out any of these kind of mystery in a box games that are designed kind of as a, a one-off solo or group experience and I was very interested and I, I looked up uh, how it was doing you, know, you can buy it directly of course you can buy it on Amazon it's reviewing well so I thought why not give it a go and this one deals with a missing person and or potential murder at a circus and it's kind of like it mixes in escape room elements ARG elements and you have to play the role of a detective, there is hints and whatnot as well. And it is kind of like in a file of facts style here. If we just turn this over and take a look specifically at the back here, if I hold this up like this. 1 to 20 players, better with more than one player. On that note, I will not be doing this whole thing uh, because I don't want to spoil it, obviously, because that would not be fair. Plan to play just a little bit of it, either the first section or the first few puzzles, depending on how I get through them. Uh, ages 12 and plus, gameplay up to 2.5 hours, depends on the experience, group size and luck. If you're in a hurry you can play in a smaller group or solo. Take your time with a large group going over every detail, don't use hints. And let's see, Jules Lietzel, the Star Trapeze artist for the Worth Family Circus went missing a few days ago. People are saying she's been kidnapped, but speculation won't cut the mustard, we need answers. So there is the setup, and I will put a relevant link in the description box below if you want to go check this out for yourself. And as I say, this is one of two that they have done so far under this FPI mystery label. Alright, let's crack this open. Uh, I presume you pull it out, oh, uh, or lift it, oh no, you do pull it out. And let's see what is ooh, inside. So how to play, followed by some envelopes that look very British in design. Just making sure there's nothing else in here. There is not. I'll just put that back there. So here's our how to play, and it has a barcode as well. Too lazy to read instructions, watch them here. No, I will read them. Do you have what it takes to crack the case? You'll be cracking the cases that the police wouldn't or couldn't. Preparing to play, there are five large envelopes included in this game, each representing a stage. One uh, on each envelope is printed an objective and a QR code for hints. Inside, you will find the evidence needed to solve your objective and a solution sealed in a small blue envelope. Good. Only open the next envelope when you have found the solution to the previous stage. Some players like to have a pencil and paper. Oh, I'll need to go get that between cuts then, just in case. I will do exactly that. I, I, I'm very old fashioned. I like keeping handwritten notes, even though my handwriting is appalling. At the beginning of each stage, there's an email from the FBI boss. Read that first. You can study the rest of the contents in whichever order you like. Don't worry about messing up the order. For some stages, it's essential to reuse evidence from previous stages. Oh, that's important to remember. Okay, hang on. Oh, and there's instructions there about wanting to play it again with a friend who hasn't seen it, if you need it. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is more. Cracking the case. You are looking to provide detailed, multiple line solutions backed up with evidence. You'll find the solutions to each stage in the small blue envelope. Don't open it until you're happy with your answer. If you're stuck, scan the QR code on the inside of the large envelope to get a hint. Two hints for each stages. Okay, I'm going to try not to use those. Multimedia content, want to see something cool if you search Instagram? Okay, yeah, that's one thing. You can find Instagram accounts for the characters present. Remember to scan QR codes in stage 5 to finish the game. It will take you to an email from the FPI boss where you can add your own email address to read a personal email with some special attachments from the boss. Okay, so that is the how to play. I'll go look out a pen and paper and we will uh, start with envelope number one. Alright, pen and paper to one side. So this is envelope. Sorry, I had to tip it up just to... I want to put the rest of them to one side. Envelope number one here, yeah, stage one. And then I'm just checking the others. Stage two, stage three, stage four. It's got a coffee stain on it. Stage five, final objective inside. And you can hear a lot of stuff inside each envelope uh, moving around. I'll put them over there because this is the important one. Oops, there we go. She'll break the seal on the back, or rather lift it up. There we go. So there's the QR code you scan if you want hints for your puzzle. Stage one objective. How can you be sure Malcolm didn't leave the ransom note? So you're trying to rule out Malcolm being a suspect, I guess. 
and then we have a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, you actually open it like this. So, let's see here. That is all the investigation files. I'm just gonna move that to one side. So that's the objective. I'll keep that over there to remind myself. And we have to read the email first. So let's see here. Uh, let's see, does it mean that email or this email? I don't know, that's a suspect email, so it must be this one. It did say the blue thing first. This is from our boss. You lousy lot. Well then, <laughs> I have a case for you. Well, we read this at the bank, Joe's Leetzel. The Star Trapeze artist for the Worth Family Circus went missing, missing a few days ago. People are saying she was kidnapped, but speculation won't cut the mustard, we need answers. All we have to go on is a ransom note that was left on the Ringmaster's trailer. Okay, a rumour's been going round that the Ringmaster himself, that's Malcolm, alright, so we have to rule him out, has something to do with her disappearance, so the story goes, he fabricated the note to cover his tracks. Okay, I've included all the evidence we've got so far. There's a wrench that Gary the Lion Tamer gave us, and a note attached explaining how he found it outside Malcolm's trailer. We also came across the Worth Family Circus Instagram account. I don't have Instagram, I can't do that part, sorry. You should check it for evidence. I need you to prove that Malcolm didn't leave the ransom note on his trailer. Be quick about it, won't you? Or would you? I ain't got time for messing around. Or correct grammar. Right, less yapping, more digging. Report back when you've got something to show for it. And that is, that's our brief. So I'll put that to one side as well. And then we have a bunch of evidence to go through. So let's start with this. It's a printout of an email from Malcolm Worth to our boss. Okay. Thank you for accepting this case. I don't know who else to turn to. Your ad in the paper said you're discreet. That's exactly what we need. I want to make something clear from the start. I had nothing to do with the disappearance. I'm hiring you to clear my name and find out who kidnapped her. She loved the circus. Her trapeze act meant everything to her and she wouldn't disappear unless something drastic had happened. I met her at the beginning of this year's tour back in January. I'm going to take notes. January, uh, met in January. Not sure what year this is set in, but met in January. Uh, let's see. My father, father, William Hearth, hired her as our featured trapeze artist. We quickly realised that her athletic ability and theatrical flourish made her part of the show into the main act. The main act is a big deal in the circus. Sounds like it's most likely a jealous uh, co-worker then. My father hired a few other performers at that time. Of course everyone at the top spot, but Julie's talent or Jules, sorry, have I been saying Julie? Jules talent towered above the rest. Our season was going great, probably our most ambitious show yet, then I noticed something was weird. A few weeks ago, she got very quiet and I started to worry about her. We were close friends by that point and I could tell something was on her mind. On February 4th, that's not that long after you met. Feb 4th. Just a few nights back, I found a ransom note on the door to my trailer. I don't know why it was left on my trailer and not in my father's office, maybe because I'm the ringleader, but it made everyone highly suspicious of me. It couldn't have been me. I was in the show all night. Okay. Show all night. I'm just leaving little notes to myself because I don't want to write on this stuff. Show all night. Um, I showed the note to my father as soon as I found it. We're all circus performers and we've all got our secrets. My father pays in cash, if you know what I mean. He doesn't like VAT. It was actually his idea to hire you to investigate. We don't want to get the police involved, so we came to you instead. I'm giving you all the information and evidence I've collected in the last two days. Oh, and one other thing to keep in mind, a few of these performers could be dangerous. I'm sure some of them were happy when Jules went missing. Be cautious. Okay, so that's kind of like the initial setup and why we need to rule him out, because he's the one who's kind of recruiting us. Okay, let's see what we have here. Worth Family Circus, the greatest show on earth. Isn't that copywritten by Disney, <laughs> that phrase or something? Oh, here we go. So this is who contact us. This is the lady that's gone missing. This is two creepy clowns. Clownery and Tomfoolery by Derek and Belinda Cole. And then we have Elephant Rides Magic by Percy Hilton. We have Miss Mimi the Strong Man down here. Gary the Lion Tamer. <laughs> Derek and Belinda Cole. Oh yeah, that's the Tomfoolery. And that's his father, William Worth, who looks remarkably similar to like the KFC guy mixed with Martin Freeman. Spectacular Amusement Institution. Okay. Oh, there's stuff on the back. Hang on a second. And there's the ransom note beneath. Line up for February 4th. So that was the day she went missing. Or rather when she noticed, when he noticed something was wrong. Light up. Malcolm Worth and Miss Mimi. Gary. Intermission. Percy Hilton. Derek and Belinda Cole. Main act. Act. Was trapeze. 
Mark Lambert closes the show. That is probably going to be a very important sequence of events. His email didn't mention times, it just mentioned day. He mentioned February 4th and that they met in January. He did say he was at the show all night, but that only confirms he was there then and there. So that could be important. So this is the ransom note we have here. Salutations. Oh, they're very polite. We have your main act. I'm with her and keep this very quiet. Do not get the police involved. Come to the Donut Hill parking lot. Bring me 50,000. Okay. There's nothing else on the back. Salutations. That's a very odd verbiage. Okay. Don't get the police involved. I'm with her and keep this very quiet. It's a very weird sentence as well. Okay. So next, we have an interview transcript between our boss and William Worth, which is the father of Malcolm. Go ahead, let's see, do you mind if I record this? No. Go ahead, but let's get this going. I've got things to do, like deciding who's replacing my main act. I see, so he wasn't that fussed. Not good, you'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy than this circus. Okay, I don't like any of them. What about Jules? Was she trust trustworthy? Good gal, a real money maker. I'm sure she had her secrets too. I could rely on her to do a job. Shame she ran off. Hey, okay, when is this dated? Oh yeah, this is one thing I did read in the Amazon comments, although it's kind of set up to look quite British. I believe the dates are written American style, so this is the 7th of February, not the 2nd of July, which can be a little confusing. So a few days, yeah, three days after the ransom note. Okay. You're saying she left of her own accord? Happens all the time. You've heard of kids running away joining the circus. Same thing happens, but in reverse. But what about the ransom note? Why did you hire us to investigate? It was Malcolm's idea to hire you. He was going to do something stupid like call the police, so I agreed to bring you into the mix. I would have tansed, tossed the ransom note where it belongs, the trash. Got a show to run. We don't need distractions. Malcolm says he came right to you with the note. Can you confirm that? <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, the show was a complete fiasco and he came storming into my office right after. I thought he was coming to complain. Miss Mimi was with him. Yeah, they would have performed together at 8 until 10 past 8. Had a little smirk on her face too. With her main act suddenly missing, we had to scramble to come up with something. We had the stupid magician go back out and do a few extra tricks. You sure the note was on, wasn't on Malcolm's trainer before the start, show started? I have no idea. I'm running a circus. Okay, yeah. Investigators have found a security camera on your trailer. Do you have the footage of that night? I sure do. I keep our nightly ticket sales and safe in my office. Can't trust anyone else with it. You should have seen how rowdy our performers were last year. I'm actually surprised no one got pregnant. Which is why I've instituted the no dating rule. Okay. I already checked the footage from that night. Someone covered the camera with tape at around 8.25. 8.25 would be the intermission of the circus because it goes from 8.20 to 8.30. Okay. So let me just see here, 820, let me just write that down. So 820, camera stopped. Oh, well, did not stopped, but you know. Camera stopped, 820. Sorry, 825. The intermission started at 820. You couldn't see who it was. Continued on reverse. Do you know anyone who would want to abduct one of your employees? First of all, they're all independent contractors. I will, if I hire them, and I've got to give them insurance and everything else, very sure. Secondly, you sound a little lost, so I'll toss a bone. A few weeks back, Jules came into my office asking for more, more money. Can you believe it? My highest paid performer is asking for a raise. I told her to get lost, so I guess she took it to heart. Okay, so that's another avenue to explore then. Maybe she's setting this up herself to get more money. So next we have the employee rules. Be on time for meetings, performances, safety checks, etc. If you're out of the trailer, you're working, you're here to make a magical experience for all of our guests, act like it. If we need you to do something nobody wants to hear about how it isn't your job, we can find someone else who'd be happy to pull their weight. No bad-mouthing everyone involved on social media, or a family, we handle things as is. Don't come to my trailer without an appointment, I'm busier than you. That's probably true. Leave your phone in your trailer. If I see you with it outside, I'll assume you want to do more than your job. That can be arranged. Unless you're married, no relationships between any employees. If you wouldn't do it with your grandmother, don't do it with anyone you work with. Report any safety issues to me immediately. You're the most important resource the circus has, and we have to keep you safe. We're all family here. Signed, William Worth. Okay. 
And what do we have here? What is this? I know you're investigating what happened and I want to tell you that I found this outside Malcolm's trailer. I think he maybe hurt Jules from Gary. Now, I just need to remind myself, who is Gary? Gary is the lion tamer. Okay. Why would you bludgeon someone you plan to kidnap and hold for ransom? Circus map. So the animal cages, the magic show, the main tent, riding game, patron parting, parking, ticket booth, security office, staff parking, and performer trailers. Well, they're all very close together. So in the space of 10 minutes, I'm sure basically you could go anywhere. And then next, oh, hang on, what do we have here? Where's the envelope with the, okay, there, put that in there for now. I'll just go, so I have one more transcript, but what are these? Oh, these are in case you don't have Instagram, I guess, which is handy, because I, I genuinely don't. Uh, I hope that is, if that wasn't in focus, I, I sincerely hope it has been. <laughs> there we go, I think it is now. Worth Family Circus, intermission is over, lights are up and we are live with Percy mystifying the crowd. Ah, this is important, okay. So that shows Malcolm is there, so is Gary, and so is the Percy the Magician. And that's after the intermission, which was after, that's 8.30. And he is meant to be on then. When is the Lion Tamer meant to be on? Oh, he was on earlier. Okay, so that shows they were both there. Derek and Belinda, so that was when, that was after the magician, and we have Malcolm poking his head around a curtain, and then we have the lion tamer, what's he doing there, so I need to bring this close to my face, he's looking a bit, a bit weird, he's holding the back of his neck kind of like, they're worried or shifty about something, over there, okay, and then, yeah, nothing on the back of those, so what is this last transcript we have here? This is our boss talking to Miss Mimi, the strong man. Yeah, I was there. No, this is a private investigation. We're not police. I have nothing to hide from you. You better watch your back and your wallet around these folks. Uh, so as I was saying, I was there the whole time, obviously. I'm the strong man in the circus, so no one messes with me. Mr. Worth has paired me up with his son, Malcolm, pretty often. Uh, that's true. Yeah, they were on at eight until eight past, uh, 10 past 8. Uh, does Malcolm need muscle? Not exactly. Malcolm's kind of small and worth just protective of his kid. He's the old captain of this band of misfits. Okay. Uh, I think he just keeps me around in case a lion gets loose. Oh, you didn't hear? We've got lions now. Gary the lion tamer is a real jerk. And him and Malcolm never got along. And how was he around Jules? I never saw them talk. I'm sure he hated her like the rest of us. Oh. She's the main act. Everyone knows the main act. People don't talk to us. Side act people. She really seemed to flaunt it in front of everyone. Alright, so me and Malcolm are together every performance. That is true, yep. We meet his trailer 15 minutes before showtime to rehearse. Okay, so that would be quarter to eight. And I toss him around a little, then we go to the performance. The show always starts at 8pm. Uh, yeah, lights up at 8pm, yep. He was either with me or performing until the end of the intermission. Yeah, well, technically Gary's on there by himself. The show always starts at 8pm, yeah, then he was performing until the intermission at that point. It's my job as a lowly side act to fetch Jules from her trailer and she wasn't there when I got to her trailer. I ran to Malcolm right away. He was really worried, but he had to stay to wrap up in the show in Jules' place. I walked him to his trailer afterwards. That's when we found the ransom note stuck to his door. And how did he react? Real bad, he just kept on saying no, no, no and ran off to find his dad. Let's see here. No problem, let me know if you need me to bash someone for you. I'm pretty good at that, and work for cheap. Okay, so we have everything we need. I'm going to look over this now in between cuts and see what I can come up with. Alright, it's about 10 minutes later and I'm ready to collect my thoughts. So I will say, I don't think this is relevant, but it did throw me off a little bit. In the layout for the circus, there is this magic show tent, and I was a little unclear as to whether or not that's where Percy was performing, and only the main act happens in the main tent. But then where did the clowns perform? That was a little confusing to me. I don't know the ins and outs of a circus. I presume they were all acting in there and then Percy was brought on stage. That part's a little confusing. I don't think it matters for this one, but just going forwards that confused me a little bit. So we know from the pictures, if you just bring those over here, we know that Malcolm was present both times, although here he looks very shifty. 
Gary looks even more shifty. To be honest, I think they were trying not to be seen with each other, and I think this is just me thinking. I haven't looked ahead at the other cases or anything. I think they're conspiring with Jules, quite frankly, to ex uh, escort some money. No, uh, what's the what's the e word? Extort. That's the word I'm looking for. And this, I think, is although that actually I don't know if they're working together because why would he try and frame him and imply that he's hurt her? Because that doesn't make any sense. Like this is this is a red herring, I think. Because why would you? imply violence on the person that you're ransoming doesn't really make much sense to me so I think that's a bit of a red herring to be honest in more than one way but in terms of what we know it's all about the February 4th we have the lineup for the February 4th we know lights up was at 8 and we know the show closes at 9 and we know from um, Miss Mimi is that her name not that one uh, where is the other one and we know that Miss Mimi, well, at least if you go by what she's saying is truthful, that she and Malcolm rehearsed 15 minutes before the show, which means they were in his trailer at quarter to eight, and then they left to be at show uptime for eight, which means if the note was there before that time, they would have seen it. But they didn't see it until after the show, or sorry, during the show rather, because Mimi went to get Jules at night at 8 50 that's when the main act is supposed to go live so presumably some point before that the camera stopped working at 8 25 which was during the intermission so that's a little vague but he was definitely there before and after the intermission with gary because presumably gary's there because he's not been on yet uh percy was on after the intermission immediately and he's right there and then after percy they were right there and he's right there again and then that was it because then the main act should have gone on and Percy went on again instead. I don't know if that's iron, like if that's iron tight, but that's what I've come up with. Like surely they would have seen it when they went to the, the trailer, unless they're conspiring together, I suppose. They should have seen it when he went to the trailer before. He can be accounted for except during the intermission, which is when the camera stopped to be fair. But actually no, because she said, let's see, he was either with me or performing up until the end of the intermission. Yeah, so actually it is covered by this testimony that he was apparently still there. Again, assuming she's telling the truth, which we have to assume because we have no reason yet to presume she's in on it other than a smirk when she was talking to the father or the, the interviewer. So he was either with me or performing up until the end of the intermission. So she can account for him until 8.30, which means that's after the time the note was apparently put to the door. And we know it wasn't there before because they would have seen it. That is my answer. It's a bit all over the place, I'll admit. And I'm not going to look up the hints. We're just going to see if that's the solution. And then that's going to be it. I'm not going to do any more. You want to see what happens or work it out for yourself? You will have to go solve the other four, five, uh, four levels by yourself to find out what really happened to Jules. But I want to see if I'm right with this. Let me just see here. Do not open until you think you've found the solution, stage one solution. Check the hints first if you need reassurance. I'm not going to bother. So also, incidentally, if you're now interested in playing this for yourself, with a, either by yourself or with friends or family, uh, stop watching now because I'm going to show the stage one solution. And I'm going to see if I was right. Place your bets in the comments now. Or do your own theory. And uh, I'll, I'll give you like five seconds to pause the video and, and go say what you think happened. Stage one solution. Good work, uh, that's assuming too much. The ransom note wasn't on Malcolm's trailer when he met Miss Mimi at 1945. So, in other words, quarter to eight. She would have noticed it, yeah, I got that part. Malcolm was with, with Miss Mimi or performing until 8.30. Yes, uh, well, again, if you believe her testimony, yes. Miss Mimi came back to the main tent to tell Malcolm that Jules was missing, but he had to stay for the rest of the performance, I guess. That's what's proved by the, the clown picture here, although he does look suspicious if you ask me. He's pictured watching the performances of Percy Hilton and the clowns, yes, although the... Oh yeah, actually, yeah, the magician was after the intermission as well, yeah. That part I kind of messed up then. Okay. And they're in the Instagram post. He then needed to stay in the main tent until the show closed. So that's only one small part of the mystery, it's just trying to rule out Malcolm as a suspect. Although I think there probably is going to be more to it than that. But that is the first stage. And again, you have all these other ones that break down the story, presumably, into separate parts. And then eventually 
you get to stage five and that has the ultimate final objective inside as it says there and the final solution so this is fun i can see it being much more fun in a group to be fair although talking through like talking my thoughts out loud while recording is also kind of fun but yeah i'm not going to spoil the whole story because i don't think that's fair so this is the only little look we're going to do of fpi mystery disappearance of the circus at worth circus check it out if you're interested i think it was oh i, th I think it was like 20 something pounds but it was on offer on amazon when i checked don't quite remember for sure don't quote me on that go check it out for yourself either directly from them or on there and thank you for watching giving this a chance it is a very it's a more modern type of board game that didn't exist when i was a kid and i have been interested in it these kind of like mixing mixing escape rooms with with puzzles and, and whatnot that you do in a group setting just in your house it's very interesting enjoyed it thank you for watching though and see you in the future for something else until then it's time for now and though and thank you actually as we end here for our lucky egg for providing this to the channel it's time for now